I get it. You're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're asking, can I wear this shirt untucked? I mean, it seems like a simple decision. You want to feel comfortable. You want to feel cool, but you're having second thoughts. Worry that look may make you look sloppy. In today's video, gents, I'm laying out the simple rules as to when you should tuck in your shirt, when you can wear your shirt untucked and how to wear it in a way that makes you look amazing. First up, let's talk about the occasion. If you're wearing a suit, if you're wearing a sports jacket, if you're wearing a blazer, basically, if you are dressing up, then you're going to want to tuck in your shirt. So does that mean with casual and ultra casual looks that you can always wear the shirt untucked? Not exactly. There are other factors that go into it, but these are going to be the ranges. Those are going to be the dress codes in which you're going to see people wearing shirts untucked. And let's not forget the trousers and the shoes because no shirt is worn by itself. You wear it with other pieces and you want to make sure in general that they work together. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, but dress pants with dress shoes. Well, you're going to be wearing a shirt that will be tucked in. But if you go with something more casual, such as chinos, jeans, shorts, you're going to go with sneakers or even loafers. You'll find that all of a sudden you've got the option to wear the shirt untucked. All right, so we've got the dress code and the clothing around the shirt figured out. Now let's talk about the different types of shirts. And in general, do we see these tucked, untucked, or can you change it up and go with either option? Now, as I go through these different types of shirts, notice I'm going to pay attention to four parts of the shirt. That's going to be the collar. That's going to be the buttons or the lack of buttons. It's going to be the material the shirt is made from, and it's going to be the type of hem. If you understand these four things, when you look at a shirt, you're actually going to be able to quickly determine, can I wear it tucked, untucked, and if I wear it untucked, is it going to look good on me? First up, we've got the classic t-shirt. This has been in men's wardrobe since the 1950s, but actually going back farther, we saw it as the undershirt. That shirt, the undershirt was worn untucked, but I'm talking t-shirt as outerwear. Since we've seen it pop up in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, it became incredibly popular and it was just very well accepted that this is outerwear that you can wear untucked. So notice the four parts. We have no collar on a t-shirt. The material, t-shirts are using a knit fabric. This is a stretch material. It's not going to be a woven material like we see on a dress shirt. Also, notice there are no buttons on the front of a t-shirt and the bottom hem of a t-shirt is straight. Now, t-shirts do not flatter all men. If you're a heavy guy, if you're overweight, if you've got a pear shape, if you've got sloped shoulders, you're going to find a t-shirt really does nothing for your body build. But if you're in good shape, if you're slim, if you are relatively trim, if you've just got a little bit of a dad bod, you can safely wear a t-shirt assuming that it's not too long. And that's one of the key points I want to hit on when you're wearing a shirt untucked is make sure it's not too long. You should be able to raise your arms up and it should be able to cover your midsection. You don't want to be showing that off, but the t-shirt should not be so long as to go and cover your buttocks. I find it really depends on the guy and his proportions. I mean, if you're six foot four, yeah, you could probably wear a t-shirt with about four inches of room going past basically the waistline. But if you're five foot two, you probably want to get closer to two inches. Point being is don't be afraid to get that bottom part of the t-shirt adjusted to fit you better. You don't want it too long. You don't want it too short. I find between two and four inches is perfect for most men. The next shirt type we have is the Henley. And if you know where the name Henley comes from, let me know down in the comments. And if you're enjoying this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate you guys interacting with the video, but this is actually a very historic shirt, an interesting shirt. And I think it's a step up from the t-shirt. Now, do you wear this untucked or tucked? You can actually go either way, but I do think think it looks fine being worn untucked. Again, let's look at the parts of this. Henley's use a knit fabric, so it's going to have a bit of a stretch and that right there is going to make it more casual. We look at the collar. There isn't a collar, but there are buttons right there in the front. Similar to the t-shirt, the bottom hem is going to be straight and we're looking about two to four inches, a little bit longer if you're a bigger guy, a little bit shorter if you are a smaller guy. Next up, we've got the band collar. This collar has been around actually a long time, comes out of military circles. You'll see a few names thrown out there, such as the Mandarin collar, the Nehru collar when it comes to jackets. Point being is this we're going to see all over the world and it's more popular outside of Western circles. I think it's a great look. Now, notice the material. We're going to be having a woven material versus a knit material that we saw in the Henley or we saw in the t-shirt. So, we're not going to have as much stretch in general. Also, it's going to have a dressier feel. Because of the knit material, this is something that, yeah, we're going to see more in dress shirts. Now, the collar is not a turned down typical collar, but it's still actually a pretty dressy collar. And with the buttons going down the front, this is something 
again that in general I like to see this type of shirt tucked in. Now you can wear it untucked but let's get down to the bottom and talk about that hem style. So looking at the bottom hem of most band collar shirts we're going to see that they have tails. Tails are where the front and the back of the shirt basically go down farther than the sides. You'll see extreme tails, you'll see slight tails. If it's slight tails this means that the manufacturer said you know what they could go either way. You can wear this untucked, you can wear it tucked but in general I like to see a straight hem or there are other shirts out there that in the front of the shirt it's a little bit higher than the back. For me this simply looks best when worn untucked but if it's a very moderate use of tails I do think that you can pull this off untucked. That being said I know you've got an opinion so I want to hear from you down in the comments. Should band collar shirts be worn tucked or untucked? Next up we've got the classic polo and the polo is an interesting hybrid between t-shirts and dress shirts. So when we look first at the collar very similar to what we're going to see in dress shirts but notice that collar is soft and that's one of the things I want to highlight. Whenever you see a collar but the collar is really soft it just barely folds over. It's not a stiff collar. This usually is going to indicate this shirt could either go either way. It could be tucked in. It could be worn untucked. Also when we look at this collar notice right here in the front we're going to sometimes have zero buttons or we'll have up to four buttons. And let's talk about polo shirt material. They're using a knit fabric. A knit fabric allows the fabric to stretch in multiple directions. So overall when you put on a knit that's why t-shirts are so comfortable. That's why polo shirts are so comfortable. They're going to be able to fit close to the body which makes sense if you think about it this was a sports shirt that men were initially wearing on polo fields. Eventually it went to the tennis that tennis market with Rene Lacoste and it eventually spread to other sports. The idea was you could be a gentleman wearing a collar at the same time you were wearing gear that allowed you to sweat, allowed you to move, be able to swing that tennis racket, get the job done and not interfere. And now let's talk about the polo shirt bottom, the hem. I love polo shirt hems. I think they're actually incredibly versatile because you can wear them tucked in or untucked. And this is not going to be straight across like a t-shirt. It's more of a graduated hem where basically in the front it's going to be a couple millimeters higher than the back. Some brands, some shirts you'll see you know a bigger difference there but in general this is something when you wear it untucked it actually looks good because it's got a little bit of a curve to it but not enough that you're really going to notice anything. But again length is key here. So if the shirt goes down about two inches below the waistline that's about perfect especially if maybe you're five foot six, five foot seven. But if you're six foot four, six foot five you're going to want to go for more for three inches, four inches. If it goes beyond that four to five inches the shirt is probably too large. You could also take it to simply get it adjusted if it's one of your favorites but if it's too short it's probably not a brand you're going to want to go with. Next up we've got button downs. Now button downs derive from dress shirts but they are not the same thing as dress shirts so they actually have the option to be worn tucked in and untucked. The name comes from the collar. Initially it was a button down collar. These were called button downs. But nowadays it's any turn down collar that has a full opening in the front that is made from a woven material and has in general at the bottom we are going to see a hem that basically has tails. But not always extreme tails. So these type of shirts again can be worn untucked. They can be worn tucked. It really depends on the situation and the material and everything that we see in the patterns. Now again pay attention to the bottom because if it is too long it's probably not something you want to wear untucked although you can always get that adjusted and you can make it more to your liking. But I do love this type of shirt especially if you're looking for a more casual. Is this something you can wear around the farm? Something you can wear out into the woods? Point being is this in general is going to be a more functional shirt. Now is this something you can dress up? Of course you can. You can go for an Oxford in a light blue and go ahead and tuck that in with a nice pair of jeans, wear a nice belt with that. Overall you know some dress boots that's a good combination. So you see it can go either way. It really depends on how that bottom of of the shirt, how long it's going to be and how full and how much tails you have. And let's not forget dress shirts. So dress shirts pretty darn easy. You're always going to wear a dress shirt tucked in. This is simply the way the shirt is made to be worn. When we look down at the tails this is where we're going to see extreme tails on the hem of the shirt. Now when we look at the material this is going to be a woven material. When we look at the front it's going to be a full button right there and when we look at the collar it's going to be a stiffer harder collar. Oftentimes we will find collar stays right here. That's the bones that go right in there that keep it straight. Very clear indicator that this shirt was made to be worn with a jacket, a sports jacket, a suit. This is something again you're always going to want to wear this tucked. So you understand the dress code. You understand the clothing you're going to be wearing with this. You understand even the type of shirt and whether or not it should generally be worn tucked or untucked. What's next? Make sure the shirt fits you. We're talking about the sleeve length 
fitting right in the collar, not too large in the shoulders. Make sure in the torso you don't have all this excess material. You can nail everything else, but if the shirt does not fit your body, if it does not work with your body type, guys, th there's nothing I can do. It is not going to look good. So pay attention to the fit. Know the name of your tailor. And of course, there are exceptions to these rules. You've got the Vishvanka over in Ukraine that I think is a beautiful shirt. You can wear it with a suit. You're going to tuck it in even though it has a straight bottom hem. You've got the Wayabara over in the Latin American community and this right here. If you're from Mexico, if you're down from Cuba, you know what I'm talking about. This is a shirt that's very formal. You're going to, you could wear it in place of a suit, but you're not going to wear this shirt tucked in. So understand that there are always exceptions to the rule. All right, Jen, so now you know whether or not to wear the shirt tucked, untucked, and if you're going to wear it untucked, how to look amazing. But if you're going to tuck in your shirt, how to keep it tucked in all day, check out this video right here. I've got four secret ways to tuck in your shirt so it never comes untucked. Because yeah, you know those guys, I've been there where your shirt just comes untucked, you tuck it back in, comes untucked, tuck it back in, comes untucked, tuck it back in. Yeah, a hundred times a day, watch this video and I will solve that problem.